I kind of don't think religious people stupid, but I have to say they're um, deluded. They're given a stray false hope. Um, because, you know, there's a lot of smart religious people, but they're duped. They're duped into believing this, you know, the scam, the threat with, oh, are you going to burn if you don't believe in Jesus? You know, the, 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 these pastors freak, freak the hell out of you. They scare the hell out of you. Whether you're indoctrinated when you're a kid or an adult, they're scaring you with barbaric religion. Um, and, and, they're, and they're scared of death. So, these people might not, they think they don't have a lot to live for. There's a lot to live for, man. You don't have to be scared. You only have one life. You might think you have two lives. Look, if you don't want to go to church, or if you're scared, or, you know, you're scared of atheists, just be an agnostic you know if you believe in your there's a God because but the funny thing is people say agnostics go to hell too not only atheists people say agnostics go to hell and agnostic means well there could be an outside force but we don't know Atheist is more stricter. It's more specific. You know, it's more like, well, there could be an outside force, but we don't believe you without evidence. You know, it's more to the point. Whereas agnostic is just kind of like, well, there could be a God. It could not be a God. I, I think the atheist position is more powerful. As long as you do the research and back up, you can back up in your debate. You can understand why atheists is it's a much better approach. Because we don't believe in gods because there's no physical evidence. Show us the evidence. Then we'll be, we'll believe. Will we worship? Maybe some would. I wouldn't. Religion is not my thing. Um, and if the God will send me to hell, so be it. Uh, <laughs> because I found religion boring and, and worshiping. But some atheists said if there was a God, they would start being not only believers, but would worship. I would believe, but I wouldn't worship. And I was like, okay, you exist, but I don't agree with you. <laughs> um, so, but, um, you know, um, so, it, it seems, it seems like they, they trap in you in the church, you know, for belief. Because even if you be agnostics, they said... Agnostics go to hell too. They force him to believe in Jesus. They said if you don't believe, no matter what. And this goes out to other religions too. They said you go to hell. You know, it's... Uh, um, so it doesn't matter. You're agnostics, they believe you go to hell too. <laughs> so you can't win. But you can win if you do the research and find like all this religion's bullshit. All the religions are bullshit. There's no heaven. There's no hell. It's all bullshit. It's all made up. No, no, no gremlins. No spiky, icky, dicky goblins and ghouls. Except on Halloween, you dress up, dress up like that, or you get like a really good face painter. <laughs> Imagine if you had a professional painter. You know, like Clive Barker, or not, not Clive Barker. Maybe it was maybe it was. I forgot the name. Um, and then you could like walk out for Halloween, freak the hell out of everybody because you look so fucking real. We're talking like professional. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, there's no icky, dicky, icky gremlins, goblins, ghouls. Satan, even though some people are actually upset because they actually want to meet Satan, especially the Satanists, the uh, middle people. Um, not only that, because 
it kind of boils down to um, accent. You know, if, if all these deities are from heaven, what the hell would they sound like? When they talk, would they shake the whole world or something? Like Satan or something? Or would it look like, like horns and stuff? Horns beast? You know. Um... So, you know, there's nothing to worry about. Just let go of the fear, man. Take take a baby step into the unknown. You don't have to jump right right through. Just take a baby step into the unknown. I know, you, I know you're scared. I know you're scared. You're scared of the unknown, I know. But I don't have to be. Stick with the science, you'll be okay. And besides... Even if you worship Jesus, and it's not the right God, you're screwed anyways. And besides, so many different religions. What happens if all the religions are wrong? What happens if all the gods are wrong? What happens if one of the gods is right, but it's not Jesus? What happens, you know, nobody knows. That's why atheists is best. We don't believe in any dogma. We would just believe in the scientific method. The real method. Look. Just because we don't know how it all started. Let me give you an insight. When we go to the exoplanets that resemble Earth. There's about a thousand of them. And then we go to these planets. And these different species. Because there's different species. There's life on there. It's almost Earth. They can tell us how it happened. They have to know something that we don't. Absolutely. No question. They will know something that we don't. It's a different species. Different. They know something. We can find out from them. You know? There's, there's so many different possibilities. And that was very hard to understand. But you have to face it. Your religion, Bible book, it's not good. It's, um... It's false. And you know, like I said, anybody can write in the beginning. No, it's not only that. Actually, people did write in the beginning in the different religions. Um, you know, it's pseudoscience. Anybody could have said that in the beginning. There was sky. There was light. When the divide light into dark. It sounds good, but it's so basic. We're so advanced. They're, they're they had no idea about the earth flat, the earth round, the sun revolve around the earth, the earth roam so on. They have so many things wrong. Plants before some, sun before plants. And, um, but like I said, if we go to these exoplanets, these species have to know something. They have to know something. How it started. Absolutely. We're talking extraterrestrials, man. They know something. And we're, that's how we can get closer. And they can actually tell us how it has started. And they're, boom. They, we, we found it out. We did it. You know, science might even have to prove it. We get the evidence for the those extraterrestrials that witnessed it. So, um... We have more ammo than ever, more ammo than ever, to find out how the, how it all how existence started. And this is just now. Just imagine years from now. And then your Bible will be worthless, because in the beginning, <laughs> we'll know how the real beginning started. You know. Um. Anybody could have said like you know the heavens stretched. Anybody could have fucking said that. You know, um, beast before humans, humans before beast. <laughs> um, so yeah, peace, peace.